Hello, Sagittarius is here with a special love reading for those of you who are single, um, or those of you that are looking to connect with a um, healthy and holistic and happy uh, romantic relationship in the future. I haven't done one of these readings in a long time, and I felt like um, because we're all somewhat stressed and we're going through a difficult situation, and many of us in the world around us, that it might be fun to kind of um, lose ourselves in these kind of energies. Now, I have to be honest with you, Sagittarius, um, some of these readings um, are definitely about love, but some of them, um, our spiritual teams are bringing forward information to help us move forward um, in our lives so that we can connect with love. So um, I don't know what the message is that's coming forward. Um, we'll just have to see, but I just want to be honest with you that um, not all the love readings um, for singles are all about success stories. Sometimes there's a group of people that really need to hear a special message from their teams, and this is a way that um, it can be done. So um, please understand that. I'm trying to be as authentic as I can, and I'm trying to work with my spiritual team in a way that um, I feel is is fair and is bringing forward a message that they would want um, and that they want to be heard. So let's go ahead and get started now. I'm going to look at um, I'm going to look at the current energies now, and then we'll move into the next um, 10 days, two weeks, as far as the, fu the future, the next immediate future energy. All right, so let's get started now. Current situation. Current situation. Current, current situation with Sagittarius. Okay, Sagi, before I get started in this reading, um, I do want to remind you that this will maybe fit with each and every one of you differently. There are Sagittarius people here who have sun signs and Sagittarius, others that have moon signs, others that have rising signs, and others that have Venus signs. So um, we understand that we are all complicated people, that we all have diverse personalities, and we all live around the world in different cultures. So um, this is going to resonate with, with you differently. Um, so please understand that. Also, I will have an extended reading that will come after this reading in which we'll look more deeply about uh, around the people that are around you. We'll dig into those people and um, we'll then see what they have to say about you, have to say about your situation. Um, also, in the extended reading, I am going to move the situation out a couple of months to see how it's going to move as we move into the into the future. Not too far into the future, just into the next two, three months, something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Now, we have a we have a situation here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. I think we have a situation here with two different options or two different people. Now, both of these energies are masculine. One is a king of cups and one is a king of pentacles. Um, now, these could be people that you work with. These could be uncles. <clears throat> these could be brothers. Um, these could be two different people that you might be um, dealing with at this point in time where one could be a romantic um, person in your life and the other one could be a brother, for example. Or you could have two people that you are um, really working to connect with, right? There's two different people here. Now, I do feel like you're, you're going through a period, you're stalling or there is some sort of a, um, a slowing down. Um, I think you're taking some time to really gain some perspective about what's happening between these two different energies. Um, you could be one of these energies. If you are one of these people, if you're one of these energies, um, you are either bringing in, if you are the king of cups, you're taking action in your environment um, to bring in health and vitality and nourishment and love. You could be moving forward with compassion and kindness and bringing changes into the environment, to your home or to your workplace or to the community around you, right? Or that could be the king of cups. That could be the person that you are interacting with that's doing that sort of, that's in that sort of energy. If you are the king of pentacles, then you're making decisions and taking action in your life to bring in a, a more robust um, system that will bring more money, that will bring more stability in your life with the King of Pentacles. So um, there are two masculine energies here, and you can certainly be in one of them. Now, this could certainly be two people that you're dealing with as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into this story. And if I get into the story, it's pretty hard if I have two stories at once. So I think I'm going to go forward and consider these to be two different people. And then it's good if 
for you to know like how these energies really apply in your life. If you're one of these energies and you can just assume you can take on that energy as you're listening to it and assume that that's you. Or if there are two people here and you're the third, um, then you can consider it that way. I'm going to go ahead and say that these are two people and then you can just apply it how it fits because I, I want to get into the story and it's really hard if I'm doing two stories at once and I have to pull out of one and go into the other, pull back out of that one and go into the other. And that's really hard when you're looking at different situations. So I feel like you're in the hangman. You're, you're looking at a situation differently. Um, you're, you're taking some time now to pause and really reflect on what's going on. Um, it could be that this King of Cups here is um, really trying to, I want to say, brace, brace himself for some sort of decision or some sort of action that the King of Pentacles is wanting to take, right? So if this is in love, you could be with the King of Cups and you could have a King of Pentacles here wanting to make a move, okay? If you're working with these people, you could be, you could have two different masculine energies here that could be in some sort of a competition with each other. I do feel like there is some sort of a wall or something being put up between these two people. Now it's interesting because the King of Cups person is usually going to be in this watery energy. So this King of Cups could very well feel very emotional about something and want to change something or want to start something or bringing drama towards the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, what does the King of Pentacles want? He wants stability. He wants revenue to be taken care of. He wants the business to be strong. He wants there to be a long-term stability in the future. So this is a businessman. This is someone that looks at numbers, looks at this. This is someone who cares about his kingdom. This is someone who cares about his business or cares about his home. And he's trying to make the best decisions and, and take the actions that are going to create a long-term abundant future. It's not that he doesn't care because he totally does. He cares so much. So both of these people really care about what they're doing. And I think that the King of Cups might be um, very passionate about what he believes in. And he could be here um, trying to protect his, his cause, what he believes in. And the King of Pentacles might be trying to slow that down because it might be costing money or it might be something that would be detrimental to the success might be hurt. It might hurt some resources or it, um, you know, whatever this is, if this is about love, then we have two people here who are interested in you or interested in being around you. And one could be working to fend off the other or to protect you from the other. Okay. If this is a situation at work with people um, that are not connected to you romantically, but you're just dealing with at work or in the community, you have two people here who both care a lot about what they're doing, but one is coming from an emotional place of bringing healing. And one is coming from a, a rational place of creating stability and moving forward and not losing, not going bankrupt and staying strong financially. And this one doesn't care about going bankrupt. There's somebody who's in pain and somebody who needs help, right? So there's two different ways of thinking about things. And both are trying to protect themselves from the other and both feel just as passionately about it as the other. And here you are kind of coming to the point where you're realizing this, you're seeing the truth of this. And I think you're warming up to both of these people. You're warming up to both of them, Sagittarius, because that's what you do. You understand people. You have compassion for people, right? You you have a fire in you that, that understands about the natures of human beings and, and how they operate and what, and what creates momentum within them. And you have an interest in learning about that. You're interested in people. You're interested in what motivates people. 
And it's kind of interesting for you to be a part of this. What does the King of Cups have to say? What does the King of Pentacles have to say? Oh my goodness. So. Here is the King of Cups. This is what the King of Cups has to say. There's a Queen of Pentacles here that he is interested in. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who works in the details, manages the money, implements projects, is the backbone of something, right? This person has is a hard worker, is compassionate, is gentle, but also wants stability. This is someone who really lives in the details. Okay, this is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. This person is also a counterpart to the King of Pentacles. Now, I'm not saying this person is a counterpart in real life. I'm just saying that this person takes on the personality of the Queen of Pentacles, which could be Virgo, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Okay, then there is this conflict here with the Five of Wands. Um, there could be competition for the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles could be someone else. But there's some sort of conflict or competition here because there is... Um, a connection with happiness here with this King of Cups. This King of Cups is most concerned about well-being of people, the happiness of people, the health of people, right? So it's, this is about love for the King of Cups. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have been surprised if the Ten of Pentacles came out for the King of Pentacles, right? Because both of these people um, feel very much from their own from their own centers of influence. The King. Um, from the heart center and this king from the heart center, but um, they find different um, environments to be more fulfilling than others. So there's some sort of a conflict or competition um, that they're in around this queen of pentacles and they are um, interested in this 10 of cups, which is happiness, bliss, health, vitality, nurturing, Relief, happy family, happy home, happy community, wellness, words like that. Could be a doctor, could be a healer, could be anyone in any industry that brings in health and nourish, nourishment and healing into, into, a, into a community or into a workplace or into a home. Then we have the King of Pentacles here, who is in the Hermit energy. So this could be a Virgo type energy, is being really rational, being very careful about decisions now. This is a person that could have spent some time going deep within. This is a person that could have had an experience, a problem, and had to really go deep within to come up with some solutions. They've looked at their role in this. They've looked at other people's roles, and they're looking to see how it can be improved in the future. And this is not done to blame people. This is done to create um, a future of solutions that work better. That's why the hermit is a master walker, a master teacher. So this is someone that has really good intentions and is kind and compassionate towards people and does have an interest in bringing hope and inspiration and, and stability and um, lighting the pathway for others. So this is someone who's very idealistic as well. Now, there is a partnership here with this person. So this person is is um, um, working on some sort of partnership here. They have perhaps a counterpart that they, they have could be this Queen of Pentacles here. So this King of Pentacles could be connected with this Queen of Pentacles. They could be working on inner balance as well. They could be learning to balance the masculine energy with the feminine energy, their belief system, what they need to feel stable, which would be the yin energy, the feminine energy, and what they need to do 
to bring in results in their life, which would be the masculine energy. So they could be conflicting with that. They could have a belief system that could be knocking them on the shoulder saying, wait, 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 what is your belief system? And then on the, on the right, they could be thinking, well, I need to go to work. I need to solve this. I need to think about the long-term future. I need to think about three months down the road. Will we have enough money to make this work? Are we, are we all going to be out of work? Are we even going to have a home after this is done? Right? So this person is maybe in conflict with the yin energy and the, and the yang energy within. And the king of wands is here. So this is somebody that's trying to build something, trying to create. Right. So this person is taking action and this person is maybe in a place in his life um, that he's not used to. I think he would prefer to take slow, make slow decisions as King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles would prefer to put everything in front of him on the table, all the maps, all the reports and everything on the table. He would like to have everything known. He would like to make some reports and put some figures together. And slowly, when he's ready, he would like to come out with a very careful decision of some very consistent way forward that would guarantee results. But with the when he's in the King of Wands energy, there's no time for that. There's urgency. There's passion. There's something to be done. There's something to be rescued. There's something to be built, right? There's something that requires him to step forward in a very spontaneous way, in a very out-of-character way, and make a big decision and build something and, and, and be a leader and, and be someone that can lead people. So this could be a very different requirement for the King of Pentacles, and he might not be used to that kind of a thing. <sighs> and here are these two kings at, at odds with each other. Let's move forward now into the future. How is this next couple of weeks going to go for these two masculine energies? Whether it's you or whether it's two masculines around you, how is this going to go? Here we have the feminine now, the queen of wands. Jeez. Okay. Higher font. High priestess. Two of cups. Well, here we have the higher fun and the high priestess right next to each other, excuse me, and their counterpart energies. So there's definitely here people that are partners, people that are partners that are working together, whether it's in a relationship or whether it's in a workplace or in the community. So we have the outer energy of organization and religion and um, society, and we have the inner energy of faith, trust, wisdom within the self. So faith, trust, wisdom in the society, faith, trust, wisdom within oneself, counterpart energies. And here we have the queen of wands. Knowing here you are as a queen of wands here, Sagittarius, knowing who you are, knowing what you're here for, knowing what your natural abilities are and taking those on and saying, I am wanting to do something very powerful in my life. I know who I am. I know what I can do and I am fueled up and I'm ready to take action. And I know that I can have a change. I know that I can do something valuable, whether it's in my own life or whether it's in my community or what, whether it's in my work that I do. I know that I have value and I know that I can inspire people and I know that I can create change. And I know that maybe I'm, maybe I say things that surprise people. And maybe I do things that make people worried, right? Because I'm, I'm different. I can, I can do, I, I'm very flamboyant in my energy. I, I can, I can be very dramatic, right? I can, I can, I can do things that other people stop and stare and they think, Oh my gosh, how is she able to do this? I mean, I wish I could do this, but I just don't think I could ever do that. That's what people around you might be thinking at this point in time. And here we have the higher font. This is how the community is, how the society is, how the biggest companies are, right? The higher font is an energy of a lot of people with the same mindset as they move forward. And they're led by a small group of people. So this could be a government system. This could be a church system, a university system, a large corporation. And maybe how all of these churches, 
so now all of a sudden I'm just thinking of what we're going through today. Sorry. I mean, how can we even deny that this for some of us can be just a lesson in what we're going through today and how people are working together? So for some of you, this can be a story about how you're fitting into this process. And for others of you, this is a personal situation that's going on between two people or between you and another person. It's just everyone that watches is going to find something different here. But you have this, you know, this could even be um, someone who wants an engagement, someone who wants a contract, someone who wants some sort of structure in the environment or in the outer world. But I think the feminine energy here um, is you're both here one after another. That's just incredible to me. Now, this is a Taurus energy and this king of Pentacles is a Taurus energy. So it could be the king of Pentacles that's here. It doesn't have to be. This could be a government system or um, a structure within an association or within a community that's already set up that you're looking at here. You're looking at this saying, okay, this is what I got. This is what I've got here. This is what I've got to deal with. This is what's going on. And here you are as a high priestess energy. This could even be another person around you. That is very, this could be a quieter person because these are almost like two separate energies here, both passionate, both really strong. These could both be both of these people in a more feminine way as well. But I think this is you here, Sagittarius, and there might be another person here um, internally who is finding balance internally in what they truly believe. And they could be connecting in with their higher power and with their religious system and what brings them guidance to find a way and to find peace with an answer of what to do. It could be this higher fun energy that's a person here who's really digging deep into, yes, we know what government does, we know what a church does, but what do I believe about myself? What do I believe and what do I have trust in about when I go to bed at night or when I'm on my deathbed? How do I feel about myself at that time? I mean, I know those are two different energies when I'm going to bed at night or when I'm on my deathbed, but it's kind of the same energy, right? When I lay down to sleep at night, how do I feel internally? How do I feel inside about my work in the outside world? About the choices I've made in the community or the choices I've made to lead others? How do I feel inside about that? So this person, this masculine energy could really be going through some a, um, a difficult place in their life. And I think here with the Queen of Wands, I think you're fully understanding this. You could be helping the masculine energy um, by having this high priestess energy yourself, having this connection with the divine, having the connection with your internal peace and your own internal guidance. And you could be helping the higher font see what you find to be important. What does a feminine care about in the world? And what does a masculine care about? Because there are two separate things that equal the whole. And really the higher font can find a lot of balance from the high priestess and the high priestess can find a lot of balance from the higher font. So I'm wondering here as you move forward here in the next couple of weeks, if you help the masculine energy with what you believe in, you help bring a balance to the decision making and to the way that he is thinking about what needs to be done in the world around him or what needs to be done to bring in stability in his life or in the life of his community. So I feel like you could be really here um, being uh, taking up a role of in your own special way, helping the higher font understand um, a more feminine aspect of the situation, of the problem. And maybe you could be bringing a softer view or a more loving, softer view to the masculine energy. Because there is a partnership here with the Two of Cups, right? There is some sort of a heart-to-heart -heart connection here, a partnership that's very important. Because with only the masculine making decisions, there's 
a huge energy that's left out. And with only the, the feminine making a decision, there's a huge energy that's left out. And so when we have an imbalance with, with masculine energies steering society or steering a relationship or steering a contract, and they aren't really connecting in with the feminine needs or with the feminine perspective, then the society is going to run rampant because they're going to lose a belief because who holds a belief internal belief is the high priestess holds it and who holds the outer structure that creates stability in our environments. The masculine holds it right. And so one without the other creates imbalance. So I think what you're doing over the next couple of weeks in whatever this situation is, is you're bringing in um, some sort of balance to this decision-making that the higher font is in, whether it's a society, a group, a person, whatever. And there is a partnership here, no doubt about it. And I think that this strengthens. I think it grows. It could be a heart-to-heart -heart connection that's going to begin to bloom as well. This could be something that really revitalizes your respect and your connection with another person or your respect and connection with another group of people or with a system or with a nonprofit. Let's look at what the Hierophant has to say here. What does the Hierophant have to say? Judgment. He's trying to make a decision here. Maybe trying to come up with a, with a decision, come up with an answer. And worried about it, worried about it. Maybe there's some consequences that have come down the pipeline that has really created a need to, um, for restructuring, for understanding that there is something missing in, in the hierophant, in the structure, in the society. And what does the high priestess have to say? Seven of Swords. Something has been taken. There needs to be a revision here. Look at all these swords. This is about thoughts and ideas and solutions. There needs to be a revision. Something has been taken. There needs to be a revision. Oh. It's just too many. Let me shuffle those again and see if one of those comes back out. The feminine could even feel betrayed in a way. Not heard. Betrayed. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, in a way, this is the feminine saying, look, like we really need to um, have our own I mean, the Four of Pentacles can feel like a prison after a while. It can feel good in the beginning, the Four of Pentacles, but then when you've been in the Four of Pentacles too long, it can really hold you back and can be a prison. And there's been some sort of a betrayal here, or some sort of theft that is requiring from the feminine's perspective, from the high priestess perspective, to revise something, to revise a strategy, to revise a way of thinking, to revise a belief system. And there is a need here from the feminine to be able to um, gain independence and to gain income, increase in revenue, to gain new income, to, to have a voice. The Nine of Pentacles is about having a voice, having the ability to um, be self-reliant and to enjoy income and to enjoy life. So it's like the feminine is saying something about this isn't fair. Something about this is we, we're having, um, it's being, something is being taken from us. It's keeping us in a place that's a prison and we're wanting to live in this very much more robust way. Or if this is you, you're saying like, I, it's ready. I'm ready to move on now. I'm ready to live differently. I'm ready to revise how I think and, and how I form my belief system. I'm ready to revise that and move forward into a, a much more abundant lifestyle. 
And here is a higher font saying, um, yeah, there's some kind of consequence coming down on me now, some kind of decision being made, a consequence being made, and I'm worried about it. I'm anxious about it. I need to help. I need time to find some answers here. And there's something here with this page of pentacles in reverse that has stopped happening for the higher font. It stopped happening. Probably because the feminine has stopped doing it. And <clears throat> when the feminine stops counting the money, who's going to count it? When the feminine stops tracking and stops doing what she's been doing, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Who's going to do this? Somebody needs to do this. Who's going to do it? There needs to be restructuring here. All right, let's look at the people who are... Oh wait, where am I at? What am I doing? See, I forget when I do work. Um, I think that I am in the general reading. Good gracious. Um, I'm in the, in the general reading for Sagittarius. See how I can get lost in what I'm doing? Please have patience with me, my friends. This is a problem. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to fix how I get really caught up in these energies and I come back out and I forget what, what I'm doing. So I think now it's time for me to go to the extended reading in which I will look at the people who are around you and how they in, and find more information about them and see what they have to say about you. And then I'll also take this situation out a couple of months into the future to see how it's going to really um, work itself out. All right, Saji, thank you for being here. It's always an honor to read for you. Um, I hope that you all stay safe, stay well, stay strong, and I'll see you back here on YouTube in another week or so. All right. Thank you.